Okay, these tutorials on working with your tablet, your Wacom or Wacom drawing tablet, uh, whether you have the Intus or the Bamboo, um, the first thing that you probably want to do is to play around with brush tracking. Uh, so what you want to do is go to uh, Corel Painter here, uh, go to Preferences and go to Brush Tracking, and this opens up a little scratch pad. Um, everyone draws a little bit differently, whether you're drawing really soft or really hard. Um, and this just kind of opens up a scratch pad and it's basically asking you to draw, you know, the typical drawing method that you normally would, whether, you know, you really are bearing down on the pencil or not. So let's go ahead and kind of practice the strokes that you'd normally make. Go ahead and uh, press OK. And, you know, before we do that, you can see, you know, the, uh, the pressure power, uh, the pressure scale, velocity power, velocity scale, basically kind of measures how you normally draw. And just go ahead and click OK. And then you'll most likely notice, if you didn't kind of play around before, um, that uh, it's going to draw, uh, you're going to find the uh, the pressure sensitivity is just a, a little more kind of tweaked uh, to your preferences. OK, another thing you're probably going to want to play around with is the uh, shortcuts on your actual tablet itself. Um, at least the tablet that I have uh, comes with a pen, comes with a mouse. Then you actually have the uh, the tablet itself, and then you'll have these little things right here, um, and they're kind of preset um, as far as the, the the shortcuts on there. And some of them can be very helpful. Some of them can also be a little on the irritating side. So if you want to change these, what you'd want to do, and the same thing goes for this little kind of uh, button here on your pen. So if you want to change these, what you'd want to do go to your computer's uh, system preferences and you should have a little icon for the Wacom tablet. Go ahead and click on that. And you have uh, various options in terms of uh, changing these. Right now I have the pen highlighted so I'm able to change the actual pen, uh, the pressure sensitivity of the actual tip here. Uh, you can change the, uh, the eraser whether you want it soft or firm. You can also change the mapping, which is really pretty important. Um, this basically uh, shows you how your tablet is communicating with your screen. So if you start to draw on your tablet and it's only showing up in a little small area of your screen, what you'd want to do is go here and go ahead and make sure that uh, full is clicked on. Or you can also just go ahead and uh, force proportions. So if you're working on someone else's computer and you just want to work really quickly, that's probably what you'd want to do. And you can uh, you know, play around with the orientation, whether it's a portrait uh, landscape flipped or portrait flipped. And then from the pen, you can go to the functions, which is going to change the functions for these buttons here, which I talked about earlier. Um, yeah, right away, it kind of uh, comes with a lot of the other shortcuts kind of uh, you know, pre-installed in there. And some of them can be really helpful, like I mentioned before. Some of them can also be a little bit irritating. I believe when I first got mine, one that irritated me is this little gliding strip right here. Um, when my hand touched it by accident, all of a sudden it would like zoom in and zoom out, which can be uh, very frustrating. Um, so what you can do is go to go to a touch strip, which is what this little thing is here. And you can see right now it's automatically already set up for a uh, auto zoom scroll, which could be really irritating. So what, what I did is I just went ahead and went to advanced and then this allows you to basically accept uh, touch strip input from pen only. Uh, that means the only way that uh, this is going to actually work is if my actual pen uh, touches it, this guy right here, rather than my little pinky, which kept touching it and driving me a little crazy. And then you can do the same for the left too. I actually just kind of have that the way it is because it, it works well for me. And then you can go to uh, Express Keys, and then you can kind of basically control how all of these are. Um, if you want to alter it, what I would suggest you do is go ahead and click on this, and then go ahead and click on uh, Keystroke. And then you can go ahead and uh, type in whatever shortcut uh, you want uh, this button to, to do. And then just go ahead and click OK. This can come in really handy. Um, for example, with my touch strip, what I have set up is um, for for the touch strip on the left side I have a big brush and small brush um, so if I want to increase or decrease my brush size I can just take my finger and kind of scroll up and down here I could do the same thing with the pen if I wanted to um, you 
these little shortcuts just really come in really handy.